Yo, yo, it's the Ground Kid Talk Show. Yo, yo, it's the Ground Kid Talk Show. Yo, Ground Kid Talk Show. Yo, yo, it's the Ground Kid Talk Show. Yo. Yeah, that's uh how I get hyped up for a video. Anyway. This video is not brought to you by Monster. However, I will enjoy one because Sam in Death Stranding also enjoys himself a few monsters. This is game of the year. Uh, there's no way to not put this game there. This game is is more than a game. It's, it's, it's a mixed media art form. And I can't emphasize enough like how you play games matters. You know, that's a story in and of itself. Um, I'm playing this as if I'm really putting myself in a situation because um, the storytelling and acting is just so phenomenal. Honestly, um, I'm enjoying it. It's going to take me forever to beat because I'm doing um, everything I possibly can do in this first playthrough. I have some big plans for Death Stranding. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do. This is amazing. Um, why I bring this up because I consider this to be the last real title. I know I did a video on uh, IGN giving this game a 6.8. That's just totally unfair. And I wanted to look more into the reviews of this game. However, I realized something so important that three months from now to six months from now, the work that the players put into the world is the opportunity for other players to receive those benefits. And I think that's a really dope system. And I, I, I'm seeing it, but I'm not seeing enough like I really want to. Especially my fear is going out west. Now I'm talking about some of the game um, and what I think. But this is game of the year. Let's let's first articulate game of the year. Because as a gamer, you know, there wasn't always that one big award show. These are the video game awards. Just in case I didn't make that totally clear. I know we all remember when God of War won. Death Training is a game that you would pick against other game of the years. And this is an award show that, you know, video we need. We need something like this. And um, I love what's going on. So, um, you know, just show support for stuff like this because um, we're the real benefits of it. And this is a great way to show these companies and corporations that video games don't need to bog down with microtransactions. They don't need to be um, like that. They can be like this, right? Something wholly unique, something you've never played before. Um, if I can even say playing, I am playing obviously, but it's so much more than that. And historically, when's the last time a AAA title didn't win game of the year? You know, when's the last time an indie won game of the year, especially since we're on this new big format. Now take that as you will. Um, but knocking, uh, Death Stranding <laughs> from that, if not top two games you could possibly throw at me. And we're going to look at a few. Um, so let's just look at some of that. Um, I really just want to talk about more about Death Stranding as well. Uh, it just, I haven't beaten it yet, but I'm playing it consistently. Uh, thanks for the support on the videos and stuff. Uh, people are liking the way, I guess, um, I'm really finding fulfillment in being a porter. You know, um, that's really dope. I, I think this is a game that you're going to want to wait on three months, six months from now and really and notice something but let's look at some of these other games that this game should be contending with but it, it, it's not there's no game comp <laughs> competing with death stranding so just doing a quick search because there's articles and you know some came out in july and hey, you know the most accurate list you're gonna get is the one that they try to sell you on google i mean we're not trying to deep dive into some you know programmers top 10 video games you know it's a mass wide scale population so i mean this will suffice if we just want to do a quick little uh you know match up to see what death stranding really stands so like i said star wars is there i haven't played that i'm not a big star wars guy um, however i can see the appeal um most definitely but again historic franchise it, they've had games spanning to the playstation 2 i mean versus a standalone game that's always a huge debate. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I hear it's getting great reviews. However, we get a Call of Duty every year or whatever. So this one get winning game of the year just doesn't really seem to be the choice I'd make. Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, again, I'm a big Pokemon fan. I um, haven't played it. I haven't played a Pokemon in a really long time. I don't know why it's not in an MMO format yet. It blows my mind, honestly, like how 
Why can I not go online and battle somebody? I, I don't understand. Now, The Outer Worlds, I just finished um, a sh playthrough of that on the channel. I loved it. The Outer Worlds is a great fuck you to Bethesda, honestly. So I love it. I do, I do love it. Does it beat Death Stranding or probably Jedi? I haven't played Jedi, so I won't be able to say that. But does it beat Death Stranding? No. However, The Outer Worlds is a great point to do something special. It's a great game, but nothing necessarily innovative. Um, they do everything that they did right in Fallout, I guess, better than they did in Fallout. Um, but it was still essentially, you know, the same game. But I, the world setting and the story I thought was, you know, super strong. So dope. Borderlands 3, uh, like looter shooters, um, that's cool. Uh, not much else I can say. I mean, we're, the, the market's saturated with shooters currently. Let's be real about that. If your gun, if your game didn't have shooting in it, um, you know, there's a lot of games don't have shooting. And a lot of games do have shooting in some capacity. Death Stranding does have shooting. But, I mean, in terms of a shooter-shooter, I, I mean, we got a lot of those. Sekiro, again, another game in which I played I thought was a, a disappointment, honestly. If Elysium, or whatever the new game is called, with From Software working with Del Toro, if that is any indication of um, where the company's going and the style and changing it up, then I'm all for it. I think that's what Sekiro should have been. However, I think the market got saturated real quick with news about games coming from Japan. Right? We all were thinking the next Assassin's Creed was going to be Japan. We have Ghost of Tsushima. We have, um, and then it was Sekiro and then Neo 2. So there was a big Japan push in gaming. And then, you know, the ones that kind of do it, Sekiro was a, it was a good game. Is it the best of a Souls game? No. Do I think Hollow Knight, which I'm late on and I'm currently playing, is better? Yes. Um, do I think Death's Gambit, another game that may have gotten overlooked, but if you're if you're into Hollow Knight, you'll love Death's Gambit. I think those two games in the same style did Souls better than Souls this time, this cycle of Souls games. Um, and I don't want to see a Bloodborne 2. I want you to always leave the fans wanting that Bloodborne 2. Because you'll just show your stale, you know, releasing a Bloodborne 2, because you, you understand people will buy it. To me, I, it's gotten a little stale, and I think other people are taking that genre further than Souls is currently. Apex, huge hit to play Apex with the homies. Alex with a D, Lyric Stigma, they're pretty dope. Uh, Lyric Stigma streams, so you can check him out. You just gotta type that in exactly how it sounds. Lyric, like song lyric and Stigma. Mortal Kombat 11, huge success. I love watching fighting tournaments, but does anyone know the story from Mortal Kombat 1 to Mortal Kombat 11? You let me know in the comments if you know what the hell's going on in Mortal Kombat. King March 3, I love King March 3. I really did, but um, I understand it left a sour taste in a lot of uh, fans of the series' lips. Um, I thought it was a great game. It leaned heavily on having to having have played all the other iterations, and if you're really a fan, you would you have no excuse because all of those iterations released in bundles where you can get all three of them at one time: Birth by Sleep, uh, you know, 358 two days. And you, there was per, plenty of opportunity for you as a fan of supposedly Kingdom Hearts to play those games. And if you didn't, you severely missed out in Kingdom Hearts 3 because Kingdom Hearts 3 paid a lot of service to us who, you know, played a PSP Crisis, uh, crisis Score. Um, well, played that too. You should have played Crisis Score, Birth by Sleep, or the Nintendo 3DS, right? Those were system sellers to me. So I was actually, you know, I was very pleased with Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's not better than... Death Stranding. Death Stranding is one of a kind. Shenmue 3. Okay. 505 Games. Gears 5. If you have an Xbox and are playing Gears 5, congratulations. Let me know how it is because I've always wanted to be get. I've always wanted to get into Gears. I mean, I just that's not my console. Uh, but I always hear great things about it. Now Gears 5. Did it go woke? Did it go broke? Like Wolfenstein? I don't know. That's a thing. I I don't think it's a stupid thing. Luigi's Mansion 3. Whatever. Metro Exodus was amazing. Played it. Uh, you had to have played all three, no doubt about it. The Division 2, I'm hearing good things. I'm hearing it's basically Division 1, just a little better. Resident Evil 2, this is where the conversation gets murky, right? Because um, it is a remake, remaster, whatever, of a game that already existed. <laughs> Bringing Capcom back in the fold. Um, to me, I think Capcom games all look the same in terms of, you know, Resident Evil engine and the... Devil May Cry engine exactly the same. Everything looked exactly the same. Take that as you will. Uh, but it was fun nonetheless. But I don't know why you don't introduce a whole new. Why not introduce the first one to an all an all new audience? 
Um, coming in with two still sends the sig signals like so no Resident Evil 1 or Please, I wanted you to go back to Resident Evil 7, Biohazard was the best Resident Evil. Mario Maker 2, huge hit. Fire Emblem, huge hit. Again, Mario Maker 2, another sequel. Rage 2, if you're a diehard Rage fan, you know, cool. Everyone loves the games they love. I just don't. I would think I was playing Days Gone. Days Gone was amazing, got a lot of hate. Um, it's I did a roundup video. Its review scores were too low. They hated on Days Gone a little too, too hard. Um, I don't need a sequel. I like it as a standalone story, uh, but if you were gonna do a sequel, I just don't want my wife. I wanted the girl who wanted me in the game. You know what I'm saying? I, I think you forced me on the wife thing a little much. That'd be the only critique I'd have of the game. Everything else is spot on. Anthem, huge bust. Wolfenstein came up. Far Cry New Dawn. I mean, I didn't hear much about that when that came out. Destiny 2 DLC. NBA Q K20, joke. Joke of a game. So that's what we're really talking about here, guys. Plague Tale huge but again we're not talking triple a titles there's not many death stranding got it uh put down what you think in out of this list what do you think beats death stranding and put why and definitely put if you haven't played death stranding like i said i i told you the games i didn't play you know and I, you do make assumptions as a person death stranding is just so much more than what anyone has told you whatever you've heard even i can't probably express how amazing how how it's how it's a must play.